we got two sides of physics. We have mechanics and kinematics, all right? Mechanics is going to be um, stuff about, like, forces and pushing and pulling and that kind of stuff. A little broader, maybe. Kinematics, though, is a study of stuff moving around. Okay, and yes, in mechanics, you're going to push and pull, and that's going to make things move around. But uh, kinematics really focuses in on stuff moving. Boom, scalar. So a scalar measurements would be two meters, seven meters, uh, six degrees, all these things that don't really have a direction. Vectors, as you know, have both a scalar, a number, and a direction. We call the number part the magnitude. So that would be like five meters north, right? You need the meters in there, that's a unit, but north makes it a vector, okay? You can go forwards or backwards. Sometimes we'll have a velocity and it will be positive or negative. And so that would be a, a vector because there's a plus way and a minus way. All right, position. That is where you are, okay? I am sitting in a chair in my classroom. That is my position. Okay, we're going to measure almost everything in class with meters, right? That's M. So the position of this dude is minus 4 meters, okay? We have picked this spot here to be 0, and so we're going to measure versus that, all right? So this is a position of minus 4. This dude's, or dudette, is a position at 7, okay? That is their position. It's relative to that. Displacement now is how far are you from that spot, Right? Well, no, sorry, from your starting spot. So your position's minus 4. If you go over here, your position would be 0, but your displacement would be 4 because you moved 1, 2, 3, 4. If you're here, your position's 7, right? And if you went here, your position would be 0, and your displacement would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Right, but your displacement would be minus 7 meters, right, because it went that way. So displacement has a direction to it, right? Now, object's displacement is pretty simple. What you do is you take uh, its final spot and subtract its initial spot, right? So an object's displacement, which we'll sometimes call x, sometimes it'll have a little vector on it, usually we say delta x, that's its displacement, okay? That is where you... You end up, right, minus, that's a final spot, minus where you started from. And we can see that on the previous screen, right? Here we ended up at 0, minus where we started from, which is 7, so a displacement of minus 7. Here we started at minus 4, we ended up at 0, so we ended up at 0, minus a minus 4, so our displacement was 4. Yay, team. All right, distance and displacement. So displacement is that start here, end up there thing, right? And it is your displacement. So if I start here and I end up there, my displacement is right along there, okay? Where I end up, my displacement. But distance is just walking around. La-di-da-di-da, -di -da, walking around up to there. So my distance is measuring all along this way. That's my distance and displacement. Now, distance is not going to be a vector. It's going to be a scalar, just a number, okay? All right? Whereas displacement will always be a vector. You're starting somewhere, you're ending somewhere else, and I have a vector to it. So you can go a long distance and not have a big displacement. How do you do that? You go in a circle. Woo! Okay? That has a distance of, I don't know, four centimeters, but the displacement is zero because we start at zero, and we end at zero, so we take zero at the end minus zero at the start equals zero. You went nowhere, okay? Or if that's fine, whatever. Average speed. This question for average speed, we're going to call that uh, average speed. You could do speed or whatever. We're not usually going to talk about speed. We're going to talk about average speed. Our average speed is basically what is our, what is our distance, right? The distance we traveled, not the displacement, divided by the time it takes to get there. All right, units of speed, meters per second, uh, miles per hour, all these sort of thing. So you're going to describe speed. Speed is how fast you are traveling somewhere, right? It is how many meters you go every second, okay? Velocity now, though, we're going to use a V, okay? And the average velocity now is, very importantly, 
the displacement, we often call that delta x, your displacement divided by the time. Okay, so textbook velocity is uh, probably displacement divided by time. Okay, and it's different here, right? Because um, if I am going around Indianapolis 500, right, I have, and I'm going 100 miles an hour. Here I am, I'm going 100 miles an hour, okay? And get to the end of the game, the finish line here, my average speed is 100 miles an hour. That's how fast I was going the whole time. I went hundreds of miles, blah, 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 blah. Now, what was my displacement? My displacement was zero because I got back where I came from. So what is my average velocity? Zero. All right, average velocity obviously needs more than one point, right? You're going to average your velocity you need from here to there. Uh, velocity could be exactly what you're doing at that moment, but average velocity is when you go from one spot to another spot. In our class, we're never going to look at just one instant for an average velocity. We're usually going to be talking about average velocity between places, okay? Now, there is this thing, instantaneous velocity. Velocity is kind of our instantaneous. Like, what is it doing right at that moment in time? Is it moving that way? Is it moving that way? Is it moving that way? Whatever. So instantaneous is exactly what it is at one point, whereas average velocity is over a distance. Now, if you want the average velocity to be the same as the instant velocity, it's got to be traveling in a straight line, right? Because if it goes up and down at any one time, velocity is going up that way, then it's that way. But if we look over a length of time, the average is that way. It's the only way you get average velocity and instantaneous velocity the same. you got to be going in a line. Speed is a number, miles per hour. It's a scalar. Velocity is like moving 10 miles per hour north, right? 10 miles per hour. Right, and that's going to be a vector. So velocity is the vector, and speed is a scalar. Now, in math, we use this little symbol called delta. That's the change in. And when you have a change in temperature, right, you, all, you already saw this. I showed it to you already. You take the final temperature, right, you start at the end point and subtract it from the initial temperature, and that's your change in temperature, okay? It matters which one is first, all right? You do the final minus the initial. If you do it backwards, you're going to have the change in temperature be the wrong sign, minus or plus. All right, so make sure you always get the final first and the initial second. All right, position, pretty much x. Displacement, we are going to call delta x. All right, sometimes people call x displacement. We're going to try and keep it delta x. Displacement is, again, right, what you would think, x final, minus x initial, right? Boom. And the units for displacement are going to be meters and then a direction, right? We need some sort of vectory thing. And so what we generally do for nothing else is going on, there is either going to be a plus or a minus. Those are our two directions, all right? All right, so take a moment, think about this. I go 40 meters that way. My displacement's minus 40. What is the magnitude? Okay, a magnitude. Well, magnitude is always the number part, and if we said the minus sign is the vector part, the magnitude is 40. Okay, if that was hard for you, just note magnitudes are always a scalar, a positive scalar. Negatives would make it kind of a vectory kind of thing. So magnitudes are always positive. Sometimes you see this in math class, right? The magnitude of negative 4 is 4, right? Magnitudes always has to be positive. If you didn't see that, no big deal. All right, so we go from the 40 down to the 10. What's our displacement? Let's take a second. We're starting here. We're ending there. Our final, right, minus the initial, right, is the 10 minus the 40, right? So our displacement is B.